Hi students, in this video, I am going to explain about the topic types of connective tissues, NCRT part. I hope you may know that maximum question in NEET examination they are asking directly from the NCRT books. I am Mr. Naraj Prabhu, your geology mentor. Come under the class 11 chapter number 7 structural organization in animal already we have discussed about the epithelial tissues and today we are going to discuss about I mean this episode we are going to discuss about the connective tissues various types of connective tissues in NCRT concept animal tissues are four types number one epithelial tissues number two connective tissues and number three muscular tissue and number four neural tissues when compared to four type of tissues the connective tissues are most abundant in animal bodies i mean the volume wise it is more and it is widely distributed in most part of the body the connective tissues are distributed and it names itself saying it have a special function that means it connect or link it supports support the other tissue otherwise it other organ i mean the connective tissue connect one tissue to other tissue or one tissue to another organ or one organ to another organ that's why it named as a connective tissue the connective tissue have various ranges it from soft to connective tissue i mean the simple connective tissue to specialized connective tissues there are various specialized connective tissues are there some of the examples are given cartilage bone adipose tissue and blood tissues this uh, structure of loose connective tissue is a type of loose connective tissue see this is a cell of the connective tissues the cells of the connective tissue is termed as fibroblast cell why because it secrete a fibrous protein fibrous means a thread like protein it secrete a fibrous of structural protein this structural protein fiber like structural protein is termed as collagen fibers this collagen fibers which provide strength elasticity and flexibility to the connective tissues this fibroblast cell secrete one more substance that is ground substance the ground substance are commonly called matrix this matrix is a modified polysaccharide it is found between the cells and fibers collagen fibers this is a loose connective tissue in addition to that fibroblast it have some other cell also macrophage cell blood cells mast cells the cells of the connective tissue the cell secrete the fibrous of structural protein which are called collagen or elastic that fibroblast cells which is called fibroblast cell because it secrete the collagen fibers that collagen provide strength elasticity and flexibility to the connective tissues that fibroblast cell also secrete a ground substance or matrix substance the ground substance are present between the cell and fibers now the types of connective tissue there are three type of connective tissues loose connective tissues dense connective tissues and specialized connective tissues now i am going to show you that important chart in this lesson in this topic so it is highly helpful for you in order to attend maximum number of uh, uh, questions related to connective tissues as we already discussed the animal tissues are four types number one epithelial tissues number two connective tissues number three muscular tissue and number four neural tissues the connective tissue are three types number one loose connective tissue number two dense connective tissue and number three specialized connective tissues specialized connective tissue example already we have discussed the difference between the loose connective tissues and uh, dense connective tissues are in the loose connective tissue fibroblast and the fibers are loosely arranged the fibroblast see the fibroblast and the fibers are loosely arranged in the ground substance semi fluid ground substance here the fibroblast and the fibers are compactly packed so when it compactly packed this is called dense connective tissue when the cell and the fibers are 
loosely arranged that is called loose connective tissue the specialized connective tissue are cartilage bone and blood the examples of loose connective tissue areolar tissues and adipose tissues example not types the types of dense connective tissue there are two type of dense connective tissue based on the arrangement regular dense regular connective tissues dense irregular connective tissue based on the arrangement of fibroblast and fibers examples for dense regular connective tissue tendon and ligament example of dense irregular connective tissue skin in this pictures this pictures are loose connective tissues in the loose connective tissue this is an example for areolar tissue this is an example for adipose tissue both tissues are present below our skin and this two diagrams and this one and this one are dense connective tissue in this this is the dense regular connective tissue and this one is a dense irregular connective tissues this is a uh, structure of loose connective tissue areolar tissue in this areolar tissue it is present below our skin instead of in addition to fibroblast cell it contain macrophage cell blood cell and mast cell the main function of it it is present below the skin so it support the many layers of epithelium as you know our skin made up of many layers of epithelial cells that supported by the areolar tissues the areolar connective tissue present below the skin it support the framework of epithelium i mean the skin it has three type of cells fibroblast cell macrophage cell and mast cell this is a structure of adipose tissue it contains specialized cell the specialized cell store the fat so store the fat so this is a nucleus so plasma membrane when excess amount of food nutrients convert into fat and that fat stored in this tissue adipose tissue this adipose tissue also present below our skin adipose tissue a type of connective tissue which is present below the skin and it have a specialized cells which store the fat when we consume the excess of our nutrients which convert into fat and stored in this adipose tissue which is present below the our skin this is a pictures of dense regular connective tissues this line indicate collagen fibers this collagen fibers are arranged as a rows as a rows in a regular manner that's why it is called dense regular connective tissues in between the fibers the rows of fibers the fibroblast cells are arranged the examples of dense regular connective tissues tendon and ligament tendon is a connective tissue which connect muscle to bone ligament is a connective tissue which connect bone to bone in dense regular connective tissues the collagen fibers are present as rows in between the fibroblast cell examples of uh, dense regular connective tissues tendon and ligament in the case of tendon it attached skeletal muscle to bone see consider this is a bone this is skeletal muscle skeletal muscle to bone the connective tissue which is connect the muscle to bone this is termed as tendon bone to bone so ligament it attach one bone to another bone this is a one bone this is another bone this two bones are connected by a connective tissue this is termed as ligament it's much more important difference you might have learned from your lawyer class this uh, structure of dense irregular connective tissue in the dense irregular connective tissue this collagen fibers this is a fibroblast cell this collagen fibers are present in many direction it oriented in various directions which is present in the skin the dense irregular connective tissues it has a fibroblast and many collagen fibers the collagen fibers are oriented in different directions this tissue present in the skin and students simultaneously explained in the book uh, diagram as well as i have given the uh, notes for you it is highly helpful at the time of preparation of uh, board exam as well as neat exam this video i hope uh, helpful to you thanks for watching